but another the day I'm back here because uh, by all time I did get enough to warrant a rank up as well as still needing to get a couple things still still things I need to fill out but you know I've earned another star I'll take it now use the gigaton ball Thank you. Anybody who needs help? There was one here that I grabbed before we started. Uh, yep, down there. Uh, I gotta go follow, find a scent. Or follow a scent again with my, uh, that one Pokemon. Is there a home range can be found here? Oh, you want me to find it? to a specific Pokemon. Catch a Pokemon has herbs that look like blue vines hanging off of it. Right? Because I can't remember every Pokemon. Don't and don't come. <laughs> oh, that thing. You want him? <laughs> I think I have that. This one? Just look at it! It's a solid lump of vines! And this aroma, this is the scent I remember. Yeah, one of the few. And very rare. Don't worry, we'll go back to ones you're not interested in soon enough. Yes, these are the herbs from my home. I didn't expect a poco to be so absolutely covered in herbs. I mean, vines. And are the vines moving? I wonder what this Pokemon itself looks like underneath all those. <laughs> you don't want to know. Anyway, thanks for finding it. Don't worry, I got you, Mr. Spaghetti. Just handed me some candy and some smoke bombs. Or I'm only going to take a little bit of your vines to use as herbs. <laughs> I have an idea. If I lived with a Pokemon like you, I'd be able to enjoy this aroma every day. And we can use the vines for things. The herbs. Also, before we get going, we have a new Pokemon in our team. He is true DK zero. Because why not? Uh, the normal fucking bear Pokemon, whatever the hell this is. Uh, he knows Shadow Claw, Aerial Ace, Stone Edge, and High Horsepower. Not entirely sure exactly why. DK knows how to do a flying move, but I'm not going to argue with it, I guess. <laughs> um, I think one of the other moves you had, for some reason, was, uh... Hyper Beam. But, you know, we're not going to use that right now. <laughs> yeah, or Shadow Claw. Good for you for knowing, I mean, God, normal Pokemon can learn so many things. That's why it's like, I like having them. Normally, my normal types would end up being, or just there'd be the one Pokemon that's the HM bitch, like, carrying everything. But since that's not a, a factor anymore, I just like the amount of different moves, like, a normal type can have. The issue is getting ruined by just about everything, to some extent, at least fighting. A ghost can't hurt you. I don't think, or at least I don't call them being able to. God, what the fuck? I have to go here for stuff. What is happening over here? Look, DK as a bear already breaks the rules enough. I'm fucked if he knows how to fly. There's a mass outbreak of lickin' lickies! <laughs> 
I have to go. I don't know if I... Hold on. Do I even have those? Have I, have I caught any of them? Uh... Oh, I already got them. Damn it. That outbreak would be great if I didn't already catch a bunch. Come on, you got it. God, when we get the ability to fucking climb walls... a monster. Um, hold on, we have a mission. I haven't gotten it, so I must not be in the right area. Try when I'm not being targeted to another place. I forgot it had another, or that, that's what it does. God, there's so much of Pokemon I just forget. Plus, like, me playing Pokemon when I was younger was, like, use the same three Pokemon, like, or, like, the same types over and over, and just, that's it. So, that's why I like trying to do this, and... Um... Let's see how it goes. Island, but fair. No blue signal popping up yet, so. Unless it was like right as we get out of the area, then maybe I'll have to go back to the entrance. For treasure. Ah. Got another old verse. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I let my memories flow on adrift upon the river. And to the ocean they will flow, perhaps around the world to go. How many bones and days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones and days to come will I yet set adrift to see? While every gift with which I part takes a silver of my heart. I'm gonna smile through this. So many lost satchels. Unusual to see a villager here at our settlement. Let's play Pass the Time. It's my favorite game. Our piece. I'm gonna go back to the beginning then. See if the blue signal pops up. Maybe I, like, jumped the gun there a bit. And... Is that you over there, maybe? Oh, no! I can't swim! Oh, damn it! 
Remember me! Okay, well that didn't work out. Let's just go around like I should. I wanted to cut a corner there. It didn't work. Hey, I found you. A person, another real live human being. Oh, thank goodness. On my way back to the base camp when I got attacked by some wild Pokemon. I managed to get away from them, but I got completely lost when I was running and uh tell me how to get back home. That way, I see, thanks. Just walks into the water and drowns. Uh, I mean this way, right? Of course, I knew you meant this direction. Well, that takes care of that problem, I guess. Figure out about side duck. Wisps. I'll have to get a bunch on that. It's the only thing. Still have yet to catch the big one there, because I just don't care. I'll find its alpha or something and just give it to him. You'll get one whole max revive if you do this. That's crazy. Yeah, but I don't have the evolved form learned about. I could evolve one of the ones I do have. Right, let's go back and be like, hey, I did your thing. Go like, like me or something. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck me. Goddamn sneezes come out of nowhere. Huh, I didn't even know I got a peep. Good, the star piece is something to sell. Use this feel. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. I like how DK mentioning this peep block thing, and then I just so happened to have gotten one. Ah, uh, so cool. Uh, let's see. That away. I'll sell that later. Right back home I go. But even if it can evolve, but since I have to give a block to it during a full moon, like, or like a specific fucking thing for that to happen. Maybe I just have to wait at night. And that will count, I assume. Yep, boy, am I glad I asked you just because everyone said you are. You think you can continue to keep an eye on her? You're embarrassing me. I just got unlucky this time. That is all. Inside took my eyes off you. You'd be lost somewhere in the bushes. Oh, well, anyway, my dad, I do appreciate all your help. Thanks. I go sell everything, but hey. You know you can carry more things in your satchel, but if you pay me 7000 
you have remedy that honey cake cream. It's terrible. I got some things to sell. Hey, did my stuff finish? Thank you. You know, keep going with this for now, because I like having a bunch of these. Let's learn more about this side duck issue. Cure side aesthetic. Well, you came to the right person. Take this. It's a sacred medicine. Only those from my hometown know how to make. It's just weed. Give it an eight alien Pokemon and it'll be right as right. Even side aesthetic will clear right up, I'm sure. The side duck who has a clear mind just explodes with power. Guy from the Diamond Clan. I'm about to say, I'm like, who the hell asked for this? What the f Down the road, I will be excited to do some of the older Pokemon games, but like, do it with randomizer. I know it's not the most exciting as some of the other randomizing stuff. But it is funny in the old games when their names are randomized and the Pokemon I just keep running into fucks me up with their random moveset. It's always such a dumbass time, but I like it. really want to be able to try to do some of the 3DS ones. There's an issue to that, as I didn't sell this. Because I still don't really have a way to do that. I know some of them are terrible, but I still want to experience them. At least for a little bit, if I don't do a full playthrough, it's just, you know, the matter of being able to do that. Let's see, if I wait until nightfall. Well, it's kind of raining, so. time. I think I just have to wait until one of these nights is nice. Here. I know there were like maybe one or two series of Pokemon games that came out I think for the 3DS that were not good. Or like people didn't like them as much. Oh, so I look all better already. What a relief. Thanks for finding this medicine. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team before, but you're the sort of folk that are kind enough to help total strangers. I guess I have no reason to worry. You call this stuff again secret medicine? God, the, the team, Galaxy team must be very talented. Maybe I'll visit the village at some point. Hello, Psyduck. Now they're happy and wet. Welcome. Giggity. Well. I done most of my assignments, so now I can go deal with what's going up there with the predicament. Ew. 
is far from a full moon, as we can see, so we're not available for evolution if it's even in this. I assume it is. It'd be kind of weird to just take out someone's evolution. Guys, it's raining. To be honest, it will be nice if, like, if I did care to do the ending stuff, like, to do extra shit. Probably be best to wait until I have all of uh, the Pokemon I'm riding kind of abilities, because some of it will really help me. Probably just, like I said, going for a basic whatever ending. I'm not going to go for anything extra because by the time this is even uploaded on YouTube, it's the game's other game's already out and the game is going to be out for me by next week. You've come. I think the new one comes out, what, the 18th or something, I think? So next week. But on a Friday, so I won't be playing on release, because I have to make sure I finish this game. And then I've got John stuff for the weekend. This is a sight to see, even in her, in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. All it took was one of my uh, things to get her leg all patched up. Deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. As you try to solve the whole situation herself, I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, I'm a power up. Uh, the Lady of the Ridge is the is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and then that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. Um, exactly what type is this Pokemon? Because I'm not recognizing it right now until I see it. Oh good, it's foggy. What the? Okay. It looks like something I should be able to breathe fire on. I've been wrong before. But first we gotta calm it and find an opening. God, okay. I get it now. Power. Flamethrower. Take that, and that, and some of this. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. Huh? <laughs> rapid throw, rapid throw. Uh, uh. 
Pick this, and that, and some of this. Boink. God, it looked like I was about to miss that throw. It's so loud. Flame thrower. Eh, 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 eh. Calm. Calm down. Don't calm. Mastered. Ta da! Now I got this thing. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save, you saved Arzu as well. Whatever, I appreciate it. Hey, first. Saluna, now Lilligant, you're amazing, you know that? Being all friends, you didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. As you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Ah, oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is about to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written on the books on ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of the almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I've completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. Helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Try to solve everything by yourself. You're a warden of all, of all people we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. Whatever. Uh, know how to stand there with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after pretty much wrapped it up so nicely. Just one more thing. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. From now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe, you know, put in some training. Anything happen else happens to Ligant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Myrland safe. I'll be sure to inform Rita or whatever that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy team helped save Saluna. You did well, my dad. After all. Uh, all of our different groups finally joined hands to work after that. There was no after in there. I just keep adding words. I admit it. I admit, it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. You know me. Leader of the Diamond Clan, I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, my dad. I'll think I think I'll stay here and talk to Lilligant for a while. What happened? How do kind hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not like I'm perfect, I hid things and lied and couldn't keep you safe. Feel well, sorry about everything. Didi! Oh, time to go talk about my mission and tell him I did everything. In the middle of the 
fight DK lays down a fucking trap that knocks him out so that we can capture it. Why do you have to have so many friends? These every one of them knows. That's gross. You shouldn't do that. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna deal with you when you have like seven allies on your side. on the way back. The gas leak. It's the tree. There we go. Got the tree. light disappearing into space uh time rift quelled another frenzied pokemon uh have you yeah are you the villain behind all this <laughs> still we still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these pokemon but you you just go rescue them without even a hint of that huh might even change the entire course of history here I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Switch up your Pokemon. I have nothing to report. Yeah, you're not kidding. Max Revive looks like the Star Peak. Put it away. Go home. Let's go back home. You guys ever close? It's fucking late. Found her by the scent of my Ochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi or whatever when you come to, for dinner later. It's fucking l nighttime, but first, don't you owe Mato a report? Your meal can wait. Oh, now you're being nice to me. Remember when you wanted to kick me out? I get the feeling that the moment something bad happens to the village, they'll blame me and kick me out. It will not hesitate. <laughs> hey, boss. You successfully calmed it, huh? Cool. Excellent. Maybe, uh, may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. Stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, then frenzies are induced by a strange lightning, which likewise falls from that same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? You may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond budgeting or whatever you just said. You're using words I can't understand. I'm not good at reading, and I'm tired. 
But I'm not behind it if that's what you're saying. Oh, look. It's almost nighttime. Now, this is the life, huh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. I don't know how to get that last one. Truly, who could ask for anything more? Sure, it's nice, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research? With our research or with carving out... Are we carving out a life here? Right. As this flashy new recipe, my dad, it ought to scatter those gloomy th uh, thoughts. Oh, thanks. Don't worry yourself so, my boy. The wise man once said, trust in yourself and you'll find your way. These words are worth taking to heart as long as we truly believe in ourselves. I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. Now we eat and rest. The next day. Morning, sleepyhead. What now? God, you're always ready to power up. So never guess what? I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Uh, hairstyles, not hairstyles. Oh, and I'm gonna be uh against warden and all. I'm be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work, don't you worry. Aha! I'm gonna come on over to the hairdresser when you can. It's like right there. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment. Youth. It's a lot of sir uh, so about the whole split of situation. You are here. If you are to work here in Real Life Village, you are familiar. You are family to us, no matter who you are or where. You're from. You're from. Welcome. And you, my dad, you will come with me to Prelude Beach. Oh, I was gonna change my hairstyle, but okay. These people are have just arrived to uh, decide they will live together with us in Jewel Life Village. Okay. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach, where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. But we heard we've heard that this region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we also heard that Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokemon and use their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Life Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to my dad here, one of our Survey Corp recruits. Though the combined efforts of all our team members let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the region. Look forward to doing our part, Commander. And then we ate them. Mmm, delicious. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corp, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. This is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. My dad, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? Not really. <laughs> the, you say not really, the game quits, uninstalls, and you're banned from buying any Pokemon game off the store. They just stop you. It's actually a test. <laughs> hmm. Pokemon have been a grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy Team, but you still find love for these creatures in your heart. This is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. I've heard of that we study them and learn all we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. 
Grab your rifle, but be warned. As the leader of the Galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions, decisions in order to protect the village. Excuse me, boss. Leader from the Pro Clans here. Good, I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, you should see for yourself how Jubilife's village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps efforts. Then you will come to my office. Alright, well, I'm glad everything's changed. Oh, God! Everybody's got a fucking request. Yeah, let me see what you got now if you're giving new hairstyles. If the village is changing, then I have to change. Perfect. <laughs> Said you don't have, like, I don't know, a green. go with blue. My eyes? I can't fucking see my eyes. Ugh. <laughs> I'll take it. I, uh, might not wear this hat. <laughs> Pokemon, I think, would be perfect inspiration for some new design. Species called Shellos, you've heard. I Different forms, depending on where it lives, and different coloring. Complete, compare its different forms. I'm certain I'd be filled with inspiration. One could be found in obsidian field lands, and the other in the cobalt coastlands. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I haven't gotten the ability to go to that place yet. My hat on, I don't even really... Into the snow yet? Perfect. Put on snow boots and I'm ready for the cold as I wear shorts. I have a monocle. I kinda hate how it like floats on my face. Perfect. I'm gonna get this fucking hat off me.
Perfect. I look insane. But we're good. We're ready. The adventure continues. Hello again, you are right in the nick of the time, sir. Afraid to tell who I was afraid to do business with me again. Well, this is the word I say. Would you try persuading him? You bring him pop pods as a token of goodwill. Okay. I've seen pop pods, but worst case scenario, this is why I have the ability to look shit up. But they're probably all located in the new area that I have yet to unlock. Because I haven't gone there yet. It's usually what happens. A new area is on the horizon, so, like, everything's fucking here. You good. Great timing. I want to make the fields bigger, but I don't have enough helpers. I need someone water move. Bring somebody with a water type move? I know I only have one of you, but I love the idea that I just brought you a floating fish. That's a water ground type. Or I can just give you fucking Badoof. Evolved form of... Here, have this. I'll probably end up catching more or not. Yeah, take it, because I'm not using it. Here is my, g my floating fish. I don't know why, but this just makes me want, like, a farming game, but with Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know why. You're gonna need someone who can break rocks, I assume. Geo, yeah, dude, you're doing great. You and the fish. A floating rock and a floating fish is helping with your farming. What a remarkable tale that was. Pokemon I belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It's hiding behind some rocks when I found it. Oh, but it's tail poking out. But if it was a tail, I'd give anything to see it again. Think you can catch a Pokemon I'm talking about? Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. God. I don't know all of them offhand, so. Alright, so that's in that island. What one do you want? Oh, that Pokemon, right! How could I forget? It always hits me when I look up what it is, and then it's like, oh shit, that one. Alright. God, it does have kind of a crazy tail. Hey, I'm new here. Hey, it's me. I'm a first-time chatter. <laughs> I need some help making friends with this Eevee. Think you can lend a hand? Ella, my granddaughter, brought the little guy f home with her the other day, and I want us to be on good terms. <laughs> little fluffy head. After thinking long and hard, huh, I decided the best way to win Eevee over is an old-fashioned way. Through tasty treats. We whipped up a special snack from hometown. Some of the ingredients for it don't grow here. I, I found a few local berries, and I would make good substitutes. Three stalks of hearty grain, two apple berries, and a raspberry. Alright, I probably have some of that. I do have the berries. I might have grains at the thing, and I'll have to look for the raspberry. I'll be right back, pal. Hearty grains and a raspberry. Not a problem. <laughs> 